But now opportunities for women are being shoved aside for a new priority, transgender athletes. Some transgender athletes say that calls to keep them out of the competition amount to hate speech. The participation of transgender people in sport is still a contentious issue today, as the sports world attempts to create a fair and inclusive environment for all athletes. But some sports are charging ahead with inclusion policies. I knew when I was about five that I should have been a girl. Last year, Cricket Australia launched its transgender inclusion guidelines, and tomorrow, eight other peak Australian sporting bodies will unveil theirs. As sports organisations in Australia, we want our sporting communities to reflect the rich diversity of our population. To create a culture where everybody feels welcome, safe and included. Unfortunately, members of our trans and gender diverse communities experience higher than normal levels of harassment and exclusion. This discrimination negatively impacts on the lives of trans people of all ages. We also know that when people are welcome in sport, they become stronger and more resilient. So today, we make a commitment to all Australians, including trans women, trans men and non-binary people to ensure that every one of us can experience the many benefits of sport. To provide a safe and inclusive environment for all. Because every person has a fundamental right to participate in sport. We at Pride in Sport. We at Tennis Australia. We at Netball Australia. We at Rugby Australia. We at Cricket Australia. We at Touch Football Australia. We at Water Polo Australia. We at Hockey Australia Plates to do our part to make our sport a more welcoming, safe and accessible place for transgender and gender diverse people. So find out more at prideinsport.com.au forward slash trans. Sport is a fundamental right for all Australians and what these sporting organisations are doing today are showing not only Australia but they're showing the world that trans people have a place to feel welcome in sport in Australia. Bo Newell is the National Program Manager of Pride in Sport a program that assists sporting organisations with the inclusion of LGBT people at all levels. Each sport have gone through their respective consultation process and all of them are coming out the other end with a, a very unique guideline or policy that's reflective of their specific sport. The policies mainly focus on community sport and are based on guidance from Sport Australia and the Australian Human Rights Commission designed to stamp out discrimination. They say that everyone should have the opportunity to participate in sport, regardless of their sex or gender identity. I love hockey so much. I played between the ages of 16 and 26. Then I gave it up for a really long time. I got to the point in my mid-twenties where I just felt really uncomfortable playing in a men's team. Roxy Tickle took up hockey again this year at the age of 50. She plays for East Lismore Hockey Club. It took me about a month to work up the courage to contact a local club. And then when I did, I needed to come down to see them one night at training to have a talk through how it might work, whether I was even allowed to play. I didn't know whether that was the case or not. And coming down that night, it was, it was terrifying. Um, but as soon as I got here, they were amazing. Yeah, Roxy's got some spunk, that's for sure. Yeah, she's great, she just fits in, she just slots in like she's always been part of us. But not all sports people agree that transgender female athletes should compete in the women's competition. Yes, great jump, great jump, Jane. Jane Fleming is a former Olympian and Commonwealth Games gold medalist. This girl loves to win. The difficulty is that for the human species that's been born biologically male, if they go through puberty in particular, they have absolutely have some physiological advantages. So whether it's bone strength or extra capillarization or larger muscle bulk, but then there are other aspects of that as well. Um, not only does that affect performance, but there is a, a health or a danger aspect. According to the Sport Australia guidelines, if it's believed that a transgender athlete over the age of 12 has an unfair advantage in a sport where strength, stamina or physique is relevant, sports clubs can seek inclusion exemptions through a rigorous case-by-case -case process. There will be pockets of people who don't fully agree with um, these, this decision, but by and large, our community have been really, really welcoming. While these trans inclusion guidelines will continue to evolve, players like Roxy are just happy to be part of the team. You wonder who's going to accept you, who's going to like you, who's going to bring you into their fold and 
that's really stressful and it's really debilitating. To be a member of a team of my peers and friends is just fantastic.